It's absolutely critical for people to understand wartime economics and how the markets shift based on geopolitical wartime narratives. So check this out. I'm going to show you some stuff. So the first thing to pay attention to is the bonds. The bond market is a great, great indicator of what is happening within the current economy. So right now, with the war narrative with China, Russia, and America, on the verge of World War III, people are doing what's called a flight to safety. Now, this part is just my opinion, but what I believe is happening with China, America, and Russia in a very tough financial position, and it's moving from industrial to technical, Web 2.0 to Web 3.0, and a completely different way of doing money, in order to move a society, you need a shock to the system. So Taiwan, under precaution with attacks from China, and America gonna defend Taiwan, with America defending Ukraine and Russia attacking Ukraine, and now America defending Israel, and billions of dollars flooding outside the United States, people are starting to change their investment strategies. So I've been telling you guys, there's gonna be a stock market pullback and capital market pullback. So yesterday, the stock started to slide with the 10 year treasury bond, briefly tops 5%. So what happens is during these uh, economic times or geopolitical narratives around war, the flight to safety is to safer investments. But here's the good news if you're an intelligent investor. During these big capital market pullbacks, these are the greatest times to get into the markets. So if you see a big market pullback, whether it's cryptocurrency, stock market, it's a great time to get ready to buy in. Then what you're gonna pay attention to in 2024 is as they continue to jack up interest rates and destroy the middle class, and they work to rebalance the markets, and on the back end of 2024, excuse me, if they lower interest rates, you're gonna see a flood back into the markets and you're gonna see it go parabolic. And you want to have an exit plan so you can exit the market. When you exit the market in wartime narratives, you want to have a diversification strategy. For me, it's crypto, insurance, precious metals, real estate, self-development, and business. You also want to make sure over the next 12 months, you start to reduce debt to free up capital. Make sure you budget for unnecessary expenses or emergency funds. And I like to insure my wealth during these times. I use Index Universal Life. Everybody insurances insures their life, which I have that as well, but I insure my wealth through tax code 7702. So pay attention to the bond markets. That's a great indicator. It's always a great indicator of where the public is going based on geopolitical or government narratives. I hope this information helps. Warriors, let's get your shit together. Love you guys. Remember, I will never proactively DM you. Those are all scammers. That's not me in the comments commenting. We're asking you to contact me on WhatsApp. Never send any money, never send anybody money pretending to be me. We have resources here in my bio, resources here in my bio, a free 16 page guide, and you can set up a free one-on-one with my insurance team to learn how to insure and protect your wealth. Love you guys.